another super fun kids clubhouse craft corner with Jen from the Blue Mountains Public Library. So we are into our third week of our kids clubhouse program. And I hope you guys are having so much fun and you're enjoying all of the activity packages that are being put together for you guys. Just a reminder that the loan periods for our activity packages are seven days from the checkout. The best way to remember is every Tuesday, every Tuesday when we launch our new um, weekly kits, you know, when you pick up your new kit, bring back your old kit and then that way um, everyone gets to share in all of the, the board games and all of the different puzzles. And just remember to bring a bag, especially if you're picking up after school, because some of the puzzles and some of the games, they are a little bit big, so they may not fit into your backpack. So, in your activity pack this week, you have your wonderful booklet, and our theme is Scarecrows. So inside, you'll find your word searches, your maze, um, coloring pages, an I Spy page, that's lots of fun. Always a super fun bookmark as well, and supplies for our weekly craft. So for our weekly craft this week, I'm gonna head on over to the last page. And just remember, if you missed this video, you can always watch it again later. Or if you don't wanna watch the video, you can always follow our instructions that are found on the very last page of your activity book under the craft corner. Oh, hello, Milo. He just photobombed me, silly goose. So we are going to be making craft stick scarecrows. So in your bag, you will find, like I had mentioned, your super, super cute bookmark with the, week, uh, the weekly theme on it, and a really fun inspirational quote for all of you guys too. So there's a small Ziploc bag with 10 small popsicle sticks, a colored pom-pom, googly eyes, and then you'll have two colored squares of cardstock. So let's set this stuff aside here. What you will need at home. Tacky glue, white glue. Um, if you don't have glue at home, you can also use tape. Or if you guys have a hot glue gun, I always like to use hot glue guns. They just work really well. And um, But again, Ask an adult to help you just so we don't have any accidents because the glue guns do get quite hot if they're melting the glue, right? All right. And then your final supply that you will need from home will be markers or crayons or even paints if you have them, whichever you prefer. So I'm going to let you guys run and grab your supplies and we'll meet right back here and we'll be on to our very first step. And we're back with all of our supplies. So our very first step is we're going to take, we're going to decide which color we want for our hat and which color we want for our scarecrow hair. I'm going to go yellow for the hair, blue for the hat. So step one, we're going to cut out our hat and our hair. So I'm going to take a marker and I'm going to draw my hat for my scarecrow. So once your hat template, once you've drawn whatever your hat looks like, you can then start cutting it out. So step two, we're going to take the other color and we're going to cut a strip off of it and then we're going to try to cut into seven rectangles. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we have eight. Perfect. So 
Now we are going to take the remainder of our cardstock. We're more than likely going to have to trim it. So this is where I would recommend taking one of our popsicle sticks and measuring. We don't want it quite as long as the popsicle sticks and perhaps a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna cut off one more rectangle, okay? And now we're gonna take our popsicle sticks and we're going to lay them across the cardstock in a row. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, and then with your marker that you use to draw your hat or your pencil crayon or pencil, just draw a little line because that is where we're going to trim the cardstock. Again, so we're left with the square. So I'm going to let you guys get caught up. And then we're going to meet right back here and we're going to start pulling our popsicle sticks on to our square. Okay, are we ready? I'm ready. Let's try this. So, again, I'm using hot glue. You do not have to use the hot glue gun. White glue works wonderfully because we are going to be sticking the wooden popsicle sticks right onto the cardboard. Or, sorry, not the cardboard, the cardstock. So, I'm going to... One, and we're going to start laying them across. We're going to get a couple on here so you can see what I'm doing. And then we'll continue with our gluing. So I have the three sticks on here going this way. So Glue on the back of your stick. If you have a Q-tip or um, like even a toothpick to rub the glue onto it, you can. Glue sticks work as well. They just require a little bit more glue. So get your 10 sticks onto your cardstock and we'll meet right back here. All right. I have my popsicle sticks glued on to my cardstock. Okay, so now we are going to get our hat and our scarecrow hair ready. So what I find easiest to do, let's get your hat and you can glue the pieces of your hair to your scarecrow hat. So glue it to the back and then Oops, get my fingers out of the way here, Jen. And then let the hair overhang. So get your hair glued onto your hat. If uh, you'd like, you can even use some tape here. It does make it a bit simpler because you can even do something like this. You can take your hair and put it onto the pieces of tape. And remember, he's a scarecrow, so give him some silly, silly hair. So, and then you can stick it right back onto your hat. Okay, and I'm gonna do that with my last few pieces here. One, two, and give them a messy hairdo. Whoopsies and get that last rectangle in here. Okay, so there's the hat and there's his hair. So now you can position where you want his hat to sit, how much of his face you want uncovered. So I'm gonna go right here just like that. And I think I made his hat too tall, but that's okay. I think it's pretty cool. 
Okay, so once that's glued on, we are going to go back into our little bag. We have a pom-pom. Stick some glue onto the pom-pom because that's for his nose. Give his nose a little wiggle. There we go. So we have the nose on. The pom-poms, or not pom-poms, the googly eyes stick as well. And if you don't want to use a googly eyes because you find them too small, you can always draw his eyes on too. But I'm going to use the googly eyes because I love them. And now you can take a marker. and draw his smile, or his frown, or his silly face onto the popsicles. And I'm gonna give him some pretty lashes, make him look extra, extra sweet. And since we have some paper left over, I'm gonna put a small strip on his hat just to give it a splash of color. And there we have it. A super, super cute popsicle stick scarecrow. If you have some yarn at home, you can even glue some yarn on it and you can hang it up somewhere or if you have um, some more popsicle sticks you can glue it onto a popsicle stick it could be a puppet whatever you want to do with it but they are super fun and it does get us ready for the fall because you know fall is upon us soon enough it's October and then with October comes all of the wonderful things with autumn you know, we have, we have apples, we have Thanksgiving, we have some yummy desserts like pumpkin pie. And at the very end of October, we also have Halloween. So next week's craft, uh, we will be making a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. So the only thing other than like your glue and your markers that you will need from home will be um, that, like a tin can so like an old soup can or a tomato sauce can um, that we're going to be using so just that is the one thing you guys have to remember a soup can and the theme for next week is fall 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 everything fall because we are in full swing I hope you guys had lots and lots of fun and just remember you can meet me right back here again next week same place our BMPL YouTube channel and same time, 4.30. See you guys next week and have a wonderful week. Bye.